Should this really be here? Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. Zephyr, you made it! See? I told you there's no way Zephyr would have kicked the bucket. Fine, you were right. So, what's the plan? Well, we've got an ace up our sleeve and the enemy's in disarray. I say we strike while the iron's hot. So we're finally going head to head with Balsef. That's right. We can't afford to mess this up. It's now or never. Then now it is! We've all been waiting for this day for far too long! Leave the plan to me. In the meantime... Yeah, you two need to do something about your outfits.
I have just the thing for your size. Stay right there, okay? Ta-da! I told you, it fits like a dream. I'm afraid we don't have any Renan clothing. I could find you some Danon outfits. But something tells me you'd rather pass. Is this really that important? In case you need reminding, I'm here because our interests overlapped. Nothing more. At no point did I say I've given up being a Renan. Now, now, let's play nice. How about you ask Nate and see what he says? He's our one-stop shop for info around here. With any luck, he might just know something. That's an unusual bird. It's an owl. They're often used as a symbol to represent ancient Dana. Nath, we need your help. Ah, oh, damn. Never the manpower when you... Huh? Help, huh? What kind? Is it urgent? Well, no, not exactly. Well, in that case, would you mind helping me out with something first? The work's really piled up around here. What is it you'd like us to do? Anything you can manage. No one cares about us slaves. That's why it's all the more important that we stick together and take care of each other. Check in with that guy over there for details on what needs doing. And thanks in advance. You see anybody around here who could use our help? We can't chase after every little thing. Hey. Yes! I guess.
Got it. I had no idea the Crimson Crows were so active. You sound pretty thrilled by that. Thrilled? Maybe. But I'll settle for hopeful. We know now that not everyone is rolling over for the Renans. Try to be careful not to stand out too much. You're the only Renan around here, you know. I know. I was just thinking about how communal it feels here, even though it's only supposed to be slave quarters. Huh? Oh, yeah. When you put it like that, I guess it is different from heavily patrolled Mosgul. Were you expecting something more depressing? It's likely a sign that Balsef doesn't think you guys can do anything to him. What? I mean, if Balsef thought the Crimson Crows actually posed a threat to him, he'd figure he'd be trying harder to suppress them. You... Uh, uh, no. You're probably right about that. All of the other Danans that aren't with the Crimson Crows accept the Renan's rule as simply a fact of life. From the day we're born, no, probably even before that, it's been drilled into us that the only purpose our lives have is to help select the next Sovereign. If they don't like the status quo, then they should fight it. Otherwise, they're endorsing it either way. I see it differently, but that's just me. Speaking of Renans, do all of them think about things the way you do? I won't deny that among my fellow Renans, power and status are everything. However, that isn't what this is about for me. I have something I need to do. And I'll do whatever it takes, and use whoever and whatever I need in order to get the job done. To hell with power. Like it could be worth something. What? They're all dead? How did this happen? Soldiers, that's how. Are you... Iron Mask? <laughs> yeah, I am. Dairon sent me to help. Hang in there! I'm so glad you made it. In the bushes over there, you... Hang on! Sion, do something! It's no use. He's already dead. Damn them! They've killed so many of us, and it's still not enough! They won't be satisfied until they've wiped us all out like pests! Uh. 
He mentioned something about those bushes. We should check them. Is this... a cooking pot? But what is it doing here? If I had to guess, he put it there to make sure a Renan wouldn't steal it. So even though he knew he was dying, he chose to use the last of his strength to hide it, believing somebody would come for it. I guess you think it's stupid getting killed over a silly trinket, huh? No. Clearly he risked his life for something he believed in. I would never mock someone for that. However, it will be up to us to figure out the purpose behind his dying act. We'll make sure it wasn't in vain. If nothing else, this proves that the Renans can be outsmarted. We'll carry out your will, and see it through to the end. Then we'd better get going. We don't know when those soldiers might be back to make another sweep of the area. So this is what it means to fight the Renans. Sounds like you're kind of scared to me. Of course I am. But if I'm gonna die one way or another, I'd rather go down fighting. See anybody around here who could use our help? We can't chase after every little thing. I'm skeptical. Right. <clears throat>
You're back, huh? Sounds like it was a real ordeal out there. Much as I hate to admit it, there aren't many of us who can take on those Renan armored soldiers. All we can do is make sure we remember those who sacrificed their lives for the cause. Yeah, they won't be forgotten. Glad to hear it. Now, what was that favor you wanted to ask me? Oh, right. Well, you see... So then, you're wondering if I know of any places where you can find Brennan equipment, huh? Anywhere with those damn bright eyes is gonna have tight security, of course. You can't just go carelessly poking around. Unless... Across the wilderness, outside Ulzebek, you'll find the Fagan Ruins. There's some kind of old Renan castle out there. What with it being impenetrable, I forgot. But with a Renan tagging along, who knows? Maybe you can find some way in. You ask me, though, it's a lot of trouble for some Renan rags. If I were you, I'd get comfortable with Danon garbs. Those look like the ruins. Let's move. Are we really going in there? Yes. Now let's move. <sighs> hey, Shion. Where does your gun come from? What do you mean, where does it come from? When you're fighting, it looks like it just appears out of nowhere. Oh, that's transferal technology. When I don't need my weapon, I submerge it in empty space. And when I do, I summon it. Make sense? Not really, but it sounds pretty amazing. Huh? Well, that way you don't have to carry around any heavy weapons or worry about enemies trying to steal them, right? It's a pretty cool invention. You realize you're praising the technology of your enemies, right? So? Technology is technology. It's not good or bad in and of itself. I guess that's true. for some lousy cloak. <gasps> there are Sugals here, too? Hey! Uh. Right. Just a minute. Shouldn't be a problem, right? Now give it a shot. You're mine. Mega Ray. This one's all mine. Eat dirt. Huh. You're mine. It got me in this. Rising wyvern. Flyers. This one's mine. I'll shoot them down. This one's mine. Huh. Go. I never miss! Take it! If it's in the sky, it's mine! I never miss! Take it! You're mine! This one's mine! Here I come! Here I go! Here I go! I'm only getting started! Come 
mine. Mega Ray, this one's mine. Let the marksman handle this. Rising Wyvern! Mirage! There! It's over! Mega Ray! Here I come! Fight. It's nicely done, Keon. Just left. Step it up. Which up? Yeah. Here you I got go. it. <sighs> that took more energy than I expected. <sighs> you can hardly see anything from here. Why don't we climb up higher and see if we can get a better view? What's this thing? Those are the Fagin ruins below us. Shouldn't be too much farther now, if that's the... Uh... I guess it's been a while since I had a bite to eat. Don't worry about me. I'm used to working while I'm hungry. It's no big deal. It is a big deal. You should eat whenever you can. The last thing I need is you keeling over in the middle of a fight just because you didn't eat. Never thought I'd get lectured on eating by a Renin, of all people. Yeah, well, some of us Renins know what it's like to go without food, believe it or not. What do you mean? I thought... This isn't about me. Now, are you going to eat or not? I would, if we had anything to eat. But we don't. <sighs> Actually, I have a little bit of food on me. You've been carrying that stuff around this whole time? Not sure it's going to be enough for the both of us, though. That's why we're going to cook it instead. Cook? I've never done anything like that before. Me neither, to be honest. But we've got to make something out of all this, so might as well try. What are you staring at me for? Your clothes are all about function over form. You should think about sprucing them up a little. Why? What purpose would it serve? I guess you're right. I just think you'd look good with a little blue thrown in somewhere. Hmm. All right, I'll think about it. All done. Come and eat. You really do eat through that mask of yours, huh? I'm impressed you can manage so well. Huh? Oh, it's nothing. You get used to it after a while. Still, I'm glad we decided to stop and fill our stomachs. I've got a newfound respect for cooking now. But I guess that's easy when you're used to eating everything raw. It would have been perfect, if it had any flavor. Sorry it didn't live up to your palate. Oh, no, that wasn't a knock on you. I was just... Sorry, that's not how I should thank you for cooking for me. You've got me curious now. Is it just pain you can't sense, or are your taste buds shot too? Oh, sure, my taste buds work fine. Although, apparently what I like tends to be a little out there. How so? What's so unusual about what you eat? Well, one time I couldn't get enough of these things I picked off a plant, but everyone else said they were way too spicy. 
Doc thinks maybe I crave spicy food to compensate for the lack of pain I feel. Maybe it's best I take charge of the cooking. You know, just to be on the safe side. I can't guarantee it'll be to your tastes, though. I said I'm sorry. Look, I'll learn to tone down my tastes in the future, so let's just put that slip of the tongue behind us already. I think we've rested long enough. Let's keep moving. This must be it. Looks pretty ancient, but I recognize Renan architecture when I see it. It's seen some beatings. If it stayed sealed all this time, it's not because people left it alone. It's not just their technology. The Renans build their structures out of special materials, too. Strong enough to withstand assaults from Danon tools and weaponry, anyway. So how the hell are we... Easy. <sighs> I hate that I can see what's on the other side. I can't just walk in. <sighs> it's a defensive barrier. That's how it works. If we want to get through, we have to find the mechanism to lift it. Phew. <laughs> that may not have been a fancy feast we just had. But I don't remember the last time I felt this full. Do the Renans often not give you all enough to eat? It's never enough. The Renans decide exactly how much we'll have and when we'll have it. And that's that. We do our best to get around it. Everyone has to grow their own food and such behind the Renans' backs in order to get by. Thinking about it now, I wonder if they've always kept it meager so we would never have the energy to try to resist what they've done to us. Yeah. An empty stomach takes its toll on the body and the spirit after a while. How does a Renan like you know what it's like? I may be Renan, but they don't like me either. I could be squeaky clean and they still wouldn't give me anything. Well, uh... <laughs> Did your stomach just... I didn't hear anything. But you just ate. How are you already... I said I didn't hear anything. <sighs> I still have some I haven't eaten yet. Do you want it? Sure. Looks like this place used to be a supply base of some sort. It probably even dates back to the Great Conquest of three centuries ago. For an abandoned place, it sure is crawling with critters. Kinda makes you wonder how they all got in. Through cracks in the walls, I guess. Maybe it's a good environment for these species to propagate in. Best not to let your guard down either way. Best not to let your guard down either way. Agreed. I don't know about you, but I'm not looking to hang around here any longer than necessary. for a while now. Can we give up already? What, you're tired? I'm tired of something, all right. I'm not giving up until we search every inch of this place. She's really determined to find those clothes. It's over! You're mine! 
I can feel my precision improving. this Renin technology? I'm amazed you guys can pull something like this off. For us, sites like this are completely normal. This must be... The former owner's old wardrobe, yeah. I wonder how long they've hung here. They don't look like they've aged a day. The designs are a little dated, but it'll have to do. Listen, I get it. You care how you look. But we've got places to... <sighs> what is it? No, I... Uh, nothing. We've kept Zephyr and the others waiting long enough. We should head back. Okay, let's head back to Ulzebeck. You're in a good mood. Were you that happy to find a new outfit? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm the same as ever. You said before that this probably used to be a supply depot, right? That Nath thought it was a Renan castle. I wonder what it actually is. Who knows? Who knows? What, can't I not know something? You didn't think I knew every last thing about my own kind, did you? I didn't say that. <sighs> from what I've heard, a lot of the materials that were initially brought over from Rena 300 years ago were repurposed for other things over time. So it's entirely possible that this place used to be both a supply depot and a lord's castle at different points in time. They're not mutually exclusive. I couldn't tell you when the lord's castle moved to its current location, though. Well, satisfied? Uh, yeah, thank you. You know, for telling me about all that. Uh, it's not like I mentioned anything that useful. Come on, let's keep moving. Behind you, Shion.
You want to get back to Ulzebek? Yeah, we better. We don't have time to waste. Someone's in a hurry. We've reached our destination. Hmm. hmm. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Yeah. Got it. Are you upset we're taking another detour? Not really. I know hunger pangs are nothing to scoff at. No? Uh, okay. Yeah! How's this? Yeah! And we're done. Sorry to drag you along for that. We got to learn a new dish. I'll take what I can get, really. Let's cook it next time we make camp. Is that why she went along with this? Crap! Hmm? Moskal. What good is it going to do to- I don't need your permission! soldiers stationed at the garrison than usual. They must have gotten deployed to Mosgul. Doc, Cole. Well, everyone, please be safe. Looks like this place opens out into the ocean. The water's so much cleaner than what's on the surface. I even see fish swimming around. Yeah, and boy, do they look delicious. What? N never mind.
You just crossed the wrong line! Don't hurt the children. What's that? Damn it, I can't reach them in time! What about the others? Are those bastards still here? Iron Mask, take it easy. It's all right now. <laughs> Most were able to escape, and we've survived. Lucky! You call people getting sl- This is how things go when you're a Danon slave. You're dead if you stand up to them. Keep your head- You only have one life. That's why- I should wait for the right moment? Yes. So someone else dies instead while we live another day. You're willing to risk everything on the chance that things will get better if- But what's the point of waiting if others have to- What do you think happens when someone tries to resist? It'd be one thing if the rebel died, and that was that. You've seen it for yourself. Everyone- Knowing that, are you really going to tell me our waiting has no meaning? But that's- I understand not wanting to throw away the same lives we're trying to protect. But if you wait too long, if you get too used to waiting, and eventually you lose the will to fight. I've already met the Crimson Crows. People who risk their lives to fight the Renan's rule. People who know they might not live to see us win, but fight anyway to give those who come after a better... If my life is at risk either way, then I'd rather spend it... So you've decided to take up the sword? Yes, but not just any sword. It's a sword that only I can... I doubt those who fought the Renans in the past ever had something like this on their side. That's why I'm willing to bet everything I have on this sword. I know- Okay. If that's how you feel, then forget what I said. It's clear- Currently, you and that sword are the only things capable of driving- If there's a way through this for all of us, then I'll put my trust in you to find- Doc. Thank you. Now, remember what you said. And don't ever abandon that conviction of yours, or- Right. I won't- You've grown so much since we first met. And you've met some good people, too. Waiting for you. You're not gonna ask what happened? 
I can tell enough by the way you look right now. I see. Zephyr, I need to ask you something. Would you have invited me to join you, even if I didn't have the Blazing Sword? Of course. Why, though? There are many folks out there who are crazy enough to resist the Renans like we do. So when I find someone with the knack for it, plus, you remind me of another guy we lost. Maybe deep down, I'm trying to help you as a way of making amends for what- But if you don't want this, just say the word. I'm not going anywhere. If it weren't for- You say so. All right. Thanks. Yes! What's wrong? Got it. We've reached our destination. All right, everyone. It's time. Remember, eyes on the prize. We're after Balsef. Nothing else. Cut off the head, and the snake perishes. Hit them head on, however. And we won't make it through the castle gates, but alone reach Balsef himself. Luckily, we have an ace up our sleeve. We need to do everything in our power to make sure that ace reaches Balsef's jugular. To that end, I'll be splitting us up into separate forces. You just said all of us hitting them head on would be useless. Why would we divide ourselves up? Because we're the decoys. We'll buy our ace in the hole the time they need to get in. We only need to cause enough of a ruckus around the castle to distract the enemy. That said, we need to look like the real deal, which is why I'll be tagging along too. You too, Zephyr? So, who's going to take on Balsef? The Iron Mask. I'm counting on you and Xion to make your way to wherever Balsef's hiding. Once there, you drive that flaming sword right through him. You aren't seriously sending in just those two, are you? One of them's a Renan. No one said the plan was perfect. By far, the biggest danger is the one you two will be facing. The fate of this quest rests entirely in your hands, which is why you get the final say. You want out, now's the time to say so. And if we say no? Then you say no. Just means we're back to square one, that's all. And I go back to being a slave. It's your life. No, it isn't. Ball's in your court, soldier. What do you say? I... I want to fight. But for what? What are you fighting for? To free the Danans from the yoke of their abusive oppressors. To no longer die at the whim of another. To break the shackles of our enslavers. To live and taste freedom! Now you're talking. I believe we have our ace in the hole, people. Hold on to that belief, and we just might break through that wall yet. And what about you? I was born ready. Now can we get this show on the road? There's a gate on your right once you leave here. Go through it and ride the elevator you'll find. I'll send ahead a few friendly faces to keep watch on your way. If you get into any trouble, look to them for support. We all clear? Good. May this battle herald the end of the Renan's bloody three-century reign. Dear battle stations, everyone. <sighs> I 
still can't believe this is happening. We're really about to face off against a Renan Lord. Well, you're in pretty high spirits for a guy going into a life and death battle. I'm not saying I'm not worried. But you have to remember, this is the first time any of us Danans have really had any hope. What about you? You scared at all? I don't have time to be scared. This is only the first step in a long, long plan of mine. You want to take down all five lords, right? It's hard to believe it'll ever happen. But it will. I know. I haven't forgotten our deal. See that you don't. That said, if we lose, we might suffer a fate worse than death, you know. That's probably true. But instead of worrying about it, wouldn't it be a better use of our time to figure out ways to avoid that and not lose? I suppose. Whatever happens, I'll put everything I have into winning. You can count on that. Hey. Yeah. Is this something you're into? Yeah. These ingenious structures and gadgets never cease to amaze me. Check out these handle grooves. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be seeing here. 